Hello students today we'll start with the subject total quality management this is ashish patil from department of mechanical engineering now the first unit of this subject is basic concepts and quality gurus so let us start with our topic now when you discuss the concept of total quality management initially you should be able to know the concept of quality now quality is the totality of characteristics of an entity that bear to satisfied stated and implied needs now any object you want to produce it has its stated and implied needs if these stated and implied needs are satisfied thoroughly then you can say that that product is having the quality the quality is also defined as the ratio of performance and expectations the more the performance of any object or product or service you are providing to the expectations then you can say that our quality is at par quality is also defined as the degree of excellence a product or service provides the more the degree of excellence of your product or your service the more will be the quality now various quality gurus have defined the quality by their own way deming has defined quality as it is the predictable degree of uniformity at low cost and suited market so whatever product or service you are producing it should have predictable degree of uniformity in all its features and you should provide it at low cost and this product or service should be suited to the specific market Joseph Juran has defined quality as quality is fitness for use so any product or any service you are producing should be fit for the specific use of it Philip Crosby the another quality guru has defined quality as quality is conformance to requirements so whatever requirements your product or service you want to fulfill it should be confirm to that need or that attribute of product or service so the conformance to requirement is the quality now whenever we are discussing a quality you should always discuss the dimensions of product quality as well as service quality so if you are providing a product it will be having product quality or if you are providing service to any particular customer then it will be having service quality so let us discuss first the dimensions of product quality now the first such dimension is performance so what is performance performance is nothing but fulfillment of primary requirement so if you take the example of automobile its primary requirement is it should get drive so if your vehicle is driving satisfactorily then you can say its performance is at par the next dimension is feature now feature is what it is nothing but additional things that enhance performance now if you take the same example of automobile you can have anti lock braking system in it hill start assistance in it so these are the features additional features for braking system or for providing you the hill start assistance now these are additional things which are enhancing the performance of your product that is automobile conformance next attribute is conformance that is meeting specific standards set by industry so whenever any company or any organization produces its product or service it should be having the conformance specific conformance of its product or service next is reliability reliability is what its consistent performance over period of time so your product or service is giving a consistent performance over a specific period of time then you can call your product or service as reliable 
नेक्स्ट वन इज ड्यूरेबिलिटी द ड्यूरेबिलिटी इज द लॉन्गर लाइफ ऑफ प्रोडक्ट द प्रोडक्ट इफ इट इज हैविंग लेस मेंटेनेंस इफ इट लास्ट लॉन्ग देन यू कैन से दैट द प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस इज ड्यूरेबल इनफ नेक्स्ट एट्रीब्यूट इज सर्विस सो सर्विस इज ईज ऑफ रिपेयर द गारंटी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट और द वॉरंटी ऑस्पेक्ट देन नेक्स्ट इज रिस्पॉन्स रिस्पॉन्स इज नथिंग बट द डीलर कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप न ह्यूमन इंटरफेस इज इन्वॉल्व इन दिस रिस्पॉन्स द करटसी ऑफ डीलर हाउ यूअर डीलर रिएक्ट एंड हाउ दे एक्ट क्विकली टू रिजॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कस्टमर सो दैट इज नथिंग बट द रिस्पॉन्स एट्रीब्यूट और रिस्पॉन्स डायमेंशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी नेक्स्ट एस्थेटिक एस्थेटिक इज नथिंग बट द एक्सटेरियर्स और packaging conditions the appearance of the product so in a nutshell you can say that the manner in which product looks feels tastes or smells okay next is the reputation that is the past performance ranking branding for example if your product is being ranked first among competitors you can say that you are having reputation in the market your product will be having or is having the reputation in market so these what we discuss were the dimensions of product quality let us discuss the dimensions of service quality now if you are offering any service to your customer then there are some dimensions the first one is reliability which refers to the dependability of the service providers and their ability to keep their promises whatever promises you are saying you should be able to keep those promises while providing the service to customers then the next dimension is responsiveness now what it refers is the reaction time of the service how quickly you are providing the service so that reaction time is nothing but the responsiveness third dimension is assurance which refers the level of certainty a customer has regarding the quality of the service provided so your quality should be of some specific certainty that the customer expects so it should fulfill the customer needs and wants so then you can say that your service is assured next is empathy what empathy means is being able to understand the needs of the customer as an individual that means putting yourself in customer's shoes understanding the basic needs or the wants a customer is having and based on that develop the responses so that is nothing but the empathy next is tangibles so tangibles are nothing but similar to the physical characteristics of quality of products just like what product is felt or product is can be touched right so in service it is the kind of service you are providing for example in restaurants you will be served a food will be served to you now the taste of that food the quality of that food can be considered as the tangible and other dimensions of the service are the courtesy with which you are treating your customer the timeliness of your service the consistency of your service then how accurate you are providing your service the credibility and the security aspects of your service so these are the various dimensions of service quality so let us pause your video and you can try this particular multiple choice question that is according to dash quality is fitness for use and there are three options that is deming joseph juran and philip crosby so i hope you have gone through this multiple choice question now with this we will stop our today's discussion next time we will see the concept of total quality management thank you